Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at a new FX radar chronograph. And that is this nice little compact unit here. As you can see, no screens, no light breakages on that one. It is literally a radar. It picks up the sound waves from the pellet, leaving the barrel and bouncing back from that. So we're going to set that one there. So, got a nice handy protector on my phone here. And if we're going to unlock it here we're just going to click on the fx air guns app very clear easy to use application quick start guide just tells you about the batteries how to turn it on how to connect it so we'll skip that one we know that barrel placement it's got the divot on the front where you just rest the barrel so you can set it on the tripod or as we've done on the table or if you want to turn it upside down as it shows in the next one here you can connect it to the barrel and then it's hanging free floating away from it you don't have to worry about where your uh, muzzle is because it's going to be connected to the end of the barrel at all times so we'll skip that through obviously the warnings for not being in front of it shot placement make sure when you're using it it is all safe and there's nothing downrange that could cause you any injury or cause any injury to anybody else so we'll agree to that one we're going to register later and bluetooth so it connects via bluetooth you can see on here found paired device we're going to connect that one up up the top here it gives you your feet per second range for an 8.4 grain pellet for a UK power limits it has 820 feet per second that's giving a little bit above the 12 foot pound but so it can still tell you whether it's in or out of that so I've already set the pellet weight I've already said it's in 177 I'm just going to pop that down here hopefully you can see that nice and clearly on the camera and we're going to put a couple of shots for it and see how it picks it up so trusty JSB pellets in 8.4 just rest the rifle on the chronograph there and we're going to just pull the trigger and pop that down so this is a little bit underpowered this rifle at the moment but it is one of the um, club guns and we like to just keep it well on the safe side so just pop another one through so 677 on the first shot 682 on the second and this is a non-regulated rifle and it's running at about 130 bar at the moment. So it is dropping down a little bit on the pressure. 701. As you can see, normally with your standard chronographs, uh, with the where it breaks the beam where the pellet goes through, overcast days, it does get a bit temperamental. It can struggle, not get correct readings. Whereas this, I mean, one-handed, rest the rifle on top, not really having to worry too much. And it does another reading there at a 701 again. I'm going to pop enough one through. 694. As you can see, for an unregulated rifle, it is quite consistent. But it's not really what we're looking at today. We're just looking at how quick, easy, and simple the FX chronograph is to use. And it is completely effortless. As you can see, just popping the shots through it. And as long as you're keeping it nice and true to the chronograph each time, it will pick that up every single shot. Once again, there's no worries about trying to catch the shade on it to stop the light from hitting the sensors or anything like that. It literally just picks up the radar and bounces back from the sound waves hitting the pellet. So as long as you keep everything nice, straight and true of it, it will work every time. there we have it that is the fx radar chronograph as i say free download quick easy to use don't have to worry about the weather and it's 150 pound that is a bit of kit you really cannot do without so any more questions on it or any more information you'd like to know please feel free to drop us a comment or give us a call and we'll try and answer your questions as soon as we can cheers guys